So I have a special treat for you guys. I brought in David the Dermatologist, or David the Derm. I'm a dermatologist. I'm based in San Diego, and I specialize in treating acne. In the past couple months, I've treated 10,000 patients for acne via a, a website that I started, Curology. And the idea is that we help make it affordable for people to get acne care from an actual specialist. Okay, so first question is from Paula Hernandez, and she asks, what products do you use to avoid oily skin and breakouts? Thank you. Anything that's like non-communogenic is best for your skin. What are some ingredients that they should avoid that could clog their pores? Well, a lot of people get their pores clogged by something called Miristol Miristate and isopropyl palmitate. And these are fatty esters, that's the name of the molecule. And if you look in the back of the bottle and it has those ingredients in there, you can bet that your face is gonna get clogged up with just a couple of weeks of using what? it. And so a trick for me, you know, given that you asked about what do you do when you have oily skin is, is if you wanna use a moisturizer, use a gel moisturizer. And this is a lot less likely to contain pore clogging ingredients, goes on really easily, and hopefully will help with your overall appearance and with oiliness at the same time. Next question is by Marisol Nguyen, and she asked, um, how can I distinguish what kind of acne is caused by stress? by my diet or by my environment. One way to, to really figure out the difference is to control one of them you can control, right? And it's hard to control your environment. It's hard to control your stress level, although you can do some things. Mm -hmm. But what you can do is cut out certain things from your diet and just eat a really, really healthy diet for a month and just stick to it. If that fixes your skin, then you know that it was diet causing your yeah. acne. What kind of food do you know that can help with acne as you consume it? I've tried kale juice and citrus green tea. I think most importantly is the food that makes acne worse, right? Okay, and good. a lot of people like talked about the rumors, does chocolate make acne, acne worse? And studies really show that it doesn't, uh, which is great, right? Because oh <laughs> chocolate's delicious. And yes. But the, the foods that I've really noticed in all the patients I've seen that make acne worse are two things. High glycemic index foods, right? So these are things with a lot of sugars and a lot of starches and then dairy products like milk and ice cream. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and so if you can cut those two things out, it'll make a bigger difference than anything you eat, than anything Whoa. you eat to help your acne. So yeah, I've noticed really big differences with those things. And like within a month, maybe they might be able to see like visible differences Yeah, very in visible skin. differences. And it, it's, it's the same case with me. My skin is much better when I'm not drinking milk. And you know, the milk itself has hormones in it, right? And that, that's sort of what ah. drives like oiliness of your skin and, and the acne coming. And I, I imagine that those hormones could also affect how you feel in general. So I yeah. think, you know, just cutting down on milk is a healthy thing to do. So I have some snap videos that you guys mm. sent. Hi, Michelle. Um, for your pillow talk question, I was wondering, how do I help prevent acne if acne skincare is giving me acne? Thank you. I know a lot of people get affected by benzoyl peroxide. It actually irritates their acne and it makes it worse and they flare up. So other people are allergic to salicylic acid. So I guess it really boils down to like finding what is breaking you out. Like what is that key ingredient in that acne product that you're using that that could be what's affecting you? So yeah, I totally agree. One of the important things is to look at the active ingredients like the benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. And those could be what's breaking you out. And then also, like we talked about before, the comedogenic ingredients, mm -hmm. like the inactive ingredients. If you try different products and still don't have any success, you can go visit a dermatologist, right? And they can help you with actual prescription skincare that might be just what your skin needs. Hi, Michelle. How do you wear makeup without it making you have acne? And I love you. I think the, it boils down to just knowing the ingredients and maybe even spot treating your face. So instead of covering your entire face with makeup, just cover the small little blemishes that you have, um, dark circles if you have any, a little bit of redness, and practice having good skincare because if you really take care of your skin, you have a good diet, you get plenty of sleep. I know like I'm just saying the same thing that everyone else is saying, but believe me, when I actually practice that, when I have good skincare, I eat really well, I drink lots of water, um, I don't like intake too much dairy. My skin is visibly better. I'm not an expert. I feel like I'm insecure because I have Dave. <laughs> I, I'm scared I might give you guys like a bad advice. And he's like, this is Michelle. amazing advice. I'm trying to write it down right now. No, dude. Yeah, no, I am. I definitely am. I'm like so self conscious right now. Like, I have a real expert here that will give you. See, I'm like getting all red. Okay, I'm going to move on. Hi, Michelle. I was just wondering how you can get rid of hormonal acne because it's more hormonal and um, things over the counter doesn't work. So there's only one word that I know of, 
is anti-androgen. That's a great word. Some of the hormones that naturally go through our bodies, whether we're men or women, contribute to getting acne, right? And so what Michelle mentioned as an anti-androgen is something that actually tempers the effect of that. And the most proven anti-androgen is actually herbal spearmint tea. And Whoa. it's been proven to help for a lot of different conditions that are hormonally related. And I've seen a number of my patients have success just drinking you know, a moderate amount. Not You don't need to drink tons of it, right? But a moderate <laughs> amount of, of uh, herbal spearmint tea so can no actually help with, no, no shots, <laughs> no shots, of, um, can actually help with acne. And then of course, you know, if that's not working, talk to a dermatologist or your gynecologist about you know any other type of hormonal treatment that may be necessary. Michelle, help, I have scars. What should I do? I think, she, I think do? she has really good skin. She does. Your scars are not your scars are not even that bad. Well, I know like there's a method that um, a lot of people have been using that has shown great results for acne scars, like pitted scars. It's called collagen induction therapy, where you take a derma roller that has tiny needles in there, you numb your entire face with lidocaine, you rinse off your face, and then you start rolling this device on your skin. It sounds really scary because you're basically producing micro injuries and tears on your skin, but it tells your body, your brain, to heal the skin to produce more collagen, hence why it's called collagen induction therapy. And there's been studies that show that there's an 80% increase in actually helping acne scarring. I've actually seen a lot of people who've been helped by it. Oh, no so, way. So yeah, definitely. Okay. And I've also seen people who haven't. Um, but I think it's it's potentially a really good idea, especially or only if you don't have active acne. True. If you have active acne, it's gonna make that a lot worse. And can, the, the scarring problem could get worse as well, but it's a really good idea. Yeah, and what people do when they sometimes get a laser or any other procedure is get it on a test spot of your face first, True. right? And just to find out if you react negatively. And it That's wouldn't be a bad idea, idea with the collagen, collagen induction therapy either. Yeah, just do like one side of your face. <laughs> yeah. So my first question is, where could I begin in my search to just destroy all my acne, to control my oils? What can I do? Eating healthy, what? When you're starting to have a little bit of the, the red or inflamed acne, you want to have something that kills bacteria, right? So a salicylic acid acne scrub won't help. It doesn't kill bacteria very well. So you might want to try something with benzoyl peroxide yeah. or something prescription. Those two types of skincare can really help with just sort of the red, mild acne that comes up. Nice. What do you think about the blue light? People using blue light to kill bacteria. Do you think that's effective? Yeah, I mean, blue light works um, when it's powerful. And okay. the, of course, the blue light apps on the phone are not powerful enough. They don't do anything. <laughs> they actually make that? <laughs> yeah. No so way. they're like, I've seen people, someone in the airport, putting a blue light against their face from their phone. And you... it is a blue light. Don't be scammed, <laughs> don't do guys. That. Yeah, don't, don't be do scammed. That. So no, but there's, there's certainly blue lights that work really well for acne. Yeah. yeah. Mostly through a doctor's office. Hi, Michelle. I love you. Um, so my question is, are facial brushes really beneficial or are they bad for the skin? And also... Oh, okay. I was waiting for the Aww. awesome part. She's like, Aww. <laughs> Keep it clean, especially if you're using a makeup brush that involves like any liquid products, like liquid foundation, cream-based products that have more water base in it. Um, bacteria, they're drawn to water, anything water-based. So like, just make sure to clean that, rinse it out. You know, what I was seeing when I first started practicing was that you know, so many people were getting breakouts, you know, whether it was more severe or whether it was mild. And they had a feeling that the over-the-counter products they were using just weren't really working well for them. But they, they just didn't want to go in to see a dermatologist. You know, whether it was they didn't want to skip school or skip work or whether, um, you know, there's also just a certain level of anxiety to go into a doctor. Yeah. But I knew that a lot of these people would be helped if they could. We created this so that people can actually see um, a dermatologist or nurse practitioner and get skincare that's actually prescription for them and just from their phone. And you do it on your phone? Yeah, and you know, the cool thing about creating this electronically is that we've been able to make it affordable for patients. You take a selfie and you're paired with your own uh, nurse practitioner or dermatologist. And then as Michelle knows, you get the medication customized for you, shipped right to your door. For all of Michelle's audience that might feel this way, we've arranged for you guys to be able to try Curology for absolutely free. What? Yep. I, this is and... my first time hearing this. That's really nice of you. <laughs> well, my real? office has arranged that, yeah. Aww, and um, we really believe in that this is important. Well, and... I know it works. I, I've actually, I so I did the whole Curology thing. I filled out my profile. I took a picture, a selfie, and I know a dermatologist. It was actually you who reviewed it really mm -hmm. fast, and yeah. you subscribed my own personal custom product. I wanted to reduce build all the collagen. Little, yeah, build up more collagen. Yeah. So you remember, build yeah. up more collagen <laughs> in my skin, reducing the sunspots, and also um, also preventing uh, premature aging and wrinkles. And yeah. 
I within a week I got my product and it was custom made for me. And what I really like about it too is that there's an expiration date. So it shows like the freshness of it because it was really made for you and it's active for a certain amount of time. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. That is our pillow talk from our OG professional here, David. If you wanna follow him on his socials, Curology is right here. You can ask him all your skincare questions to him, <laughs> direct it to him, not to me, because he's the <laughs> professional. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and best of luck with uh, dealing with your acne and overcoming it. Best of Love luck. You guys. Thank you. Bye.